Hey everyone, Tracy coming to you today with a what's on my mind video. Today I'm bringing commentary about this Popeye's chicken sandwich. I really would like to know why is people going crazy over this sandwich? Is it really worth all of that? I am seeing uh, video and on the news how people are in lines trying to run folks over with their cars, tearing up their own cars, stabbing folks all over a chicken sandwich. Like, why? Is this sandwich really that good to where you got to go to work and while all of this got to be done to get it? It's to the fact where, you know what? Just with all the publicity that a darn sandwich is getting, I don't want it. I don't want that sandwich. I don't want nothing that's got my people out there acting like starnated fools to get it. To me, it sounds like somebody has actually got strings on a puppet and they just twiddling these strings with this sandwich because first they had the sandwich out there, then they let it go. They, they canceled the sandwich. It was like they, they wasn't no longer serving it. Now they done brought it back and folks even acting even more of a bigger fool over this sandwich. So I'm just going to say no to the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I don't want any. I don't want nothing that's going to have people out here hurting one another to get it. I don't want nothing that's going to have people out here cussing out one another just to stand in a line that I don't know how long that is going to take to get these sandwiches. Now, I do have this one question in mind though. Out of all these Popeye chicken businesses, how many of you gonna really give your workers the benefits? How many of you work, how many of you stab establishments is gonna give your workers what they was well worth paying them what they need to be paid for even dealing with such craziness? How many of you businesses gonna do that? I bet you you're going to give them the same measly pay that they was getting before that sandwich. And they're going to be getting that same measly pay after the whole hype of this sandwich is over and done with. I'm just going to say I wish my people would take a step back and look at what you're doing first before you just even, even attempt to go to this place to get the sandwich. Is it really worth it? Look it up online and see just what, what this sandwich is about. Just look it up online and see just how much salt is into this sandwich. Look it up online and see just really what, it, what the ingredients are. What all is in this sandwich? Is it really worth you going standing in some line risking your life or, or, you, or, or your freedom because it's going to be somebody's going to get a little cray over this sandwich and... All of a sudden, your life is gone or you locked up in jail because of this? It's to the point where I'm like this. If this how people got to be acting over this sandwich, real talk, I don't want it. Real talk. I would rather cook the sandwich myself. What do they say is on this sandwich? Two pieces of bread with a, with a chicken thigh, pickle, and some type of sauce. Like, I don't know if it's mayonnaise mixed up with something, but I'm going to say some type of mayonnaise mixed up sauce because I did see it was a creamy sauce. A very unhealthy sandwich along with a tons of sodium. And I'm going to go stand in line for a high blood pressure moment, for a risk of a stroke. We have to think about these kind of things, y'all. Like, is this sandwich really, really worth all of this? I don't really think, I don't think it is. I do not believe it's worth it. That's just my that's my opinion of it. I don't believe it's worth it. I could sit at home and make this same sandwich on my stove myself. I remember back in the day, I remember people used to stand in line for every shoe that Michael Jordan made. Now since that craze is over with, we went from shoes to food. This don't make no sense, y'all. It 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 don't make no sense. No sense at all. It don't make sense. So, what are your thoughts on it? I just know this. Out of all of this that's been going on with this sandwich, I don't want it. I don't want no parts of it. None. Like I said, from what I've seen, I can make the sandwich myself. I don't even have to go out here and go crazy to, to even... <laughs> 
the grocery stores is empty while churches were, I keep saying churches, but it's Popeye's. They lines all the way out the door and around the corner. I'm, I'm just glad I don't live by none of them places. I'm glad now that I really do not live by none of them places. Because when they come up with their little craziness to get people hyped up, to get in these uh, to get in their cars and want to run to these places. At least I don't have to worry about the bull crap in front of my house. But I feel for y'all who lives by these places because y'all had that junk to deal with. Y'all had that junk to deal with because these people are going to be lying all up and down your street because you living by that sandwich place, that Popeye's chicken or whoever it is. It could be McDonald's next. They could turn around and come up with some type of a, a, a special like that and people going crazy over it. I couldn't do it. I do. I uh -uh, no. It's just I ain't got time for the craziness. I just can't do it. No. So with that being said, y'all, I'm not gonna make this video long and drawn out. But I just really like to know, you know. And the thing that main thing that gets me about this whole sandwich, I sandwich deal is half of these people that's doing this and in these lines like this. Have you really tasted? Have you tasted this sandwich before? Is that what got you acting like this or what? Because it seemed like to me, I can't really, I had to go, I was saying that people was acting crackhead crazy, but I have to go back and really think about what I said. That's why I really don't even want to use that term anymore. Because at least I can say anyone that has an addiction of some kind, you know what you addicted to. Half of these people that is standing in these lines waiting on this sandwich ain't never even tasted the sandwich yet. Ain't never tasted. How many of you guys have tasted the sandwich and went back for more? Would you, was it, I just really want to know, what's the big idea with this sandwich? Was it really, is it really worth what these people are doing right now? Is it really worth that? I, I really don't think so. I really don't think so. So, like I said, I'm not getting ready to, uh, sorry about that, but I am not getting ready to make a whole video long about this sandwich because that is just not what I'm trying to do here. What I'm really wanting to know was what is the freaking hype to this sandwich and is it really, really worth what people is doing? You know, is it really worth all that? I really don't think so, to be honest with you. I, I really don't. I don't think so at all. I really think that I could turn around and cook that sandwich myself and make it a hundred times better and I'm going to have people lined up outside my door waiting on my version of that Popeye sandwich. <laughs> now, I'm just, you know, I just really want to know, you know, people, did it really boil down to this with a sandwich? And I, and from what I've read about the sandwich and, and what I've seen and what people have said who've tasted it, and from what they saying, it's like, it's no big, it's no big deal, y'all. It's no big deal at all. Like, Hold up. Wait a minute. Take 10 steps back and think about it. Like, it really ain't even worth all that. I just had a, a friend that went to the place just this past weekend, and she came back and, and, and said that that, that, that that sandwich it was not, is not worth the hype that people putting into it. This, is, this looks bad on our part. It really do. It looks bad on our part. As a people, it looked bad on our part real bad. We need to direct that energy that we got toward that sandwich towards something that's really going to benefit us. And that sandwich is not going to benefit us. Only thing that sandwich is going to do is harm us either way it go. Because it's got too much sodium in it for number one, that's not good. Okay, number two, you standing in line and long lines waiting on salt. Come on, let's think of it that way. Just turn on around and just go on home. It ain't worth You can make it yourself. Hit the grocery store and buy the same ingredients. Go online, you'll find all the ingredients that they making this sandwich with. All right. So with that being said, y'all, I wish you well. Think wisely. <laughs> and it ain't worth it. You much better. Than, we much better than that as a people. We got to be much better than this. All right. So until the next. Peace.